When you are facing criminal charges, understanding a motion to suppress can be crucial. A motion to suppress is a request to exclude certain evidence from being used against you in court. This could be evidence obtained through an illegal search or seizure, without a proper warrant, or even a confession made without being read your Miranda rights. For example, let's say you were stopped by the police and they searched your car without a warrant or probable cause. If they found something illegal, your defense team can file a motion to suppress that evidence. If the judge agrees that the search was unlawful, that evidence can't be used at your trial. This can make it much harder for the prosecution to prove their case. Now, you might wonder about hearsay evidence. This is any statement made outside of court that someone tries to use to prove something in court. Usually, hearsay isn't allowed, but there are many exceptions. In a motion to suppress, we might argue that certain hearsay evidence doesn't meet the necessary legal standards and should be excluded. There's also something called a Miranda motion. This comes into play if you weren't informed of your Miranda rights before being interrogated by the police. If you weren't told that you have a right to remain silent or have an attorney present, any statement you made might be thrown out. The main goal of these motions is to protect your rights and ensure a fair trial. Evidence obtained illegally shouldn't be used to convict you. If the motion is successful, the prosecution's case can weaken significantly, sometimes leading to charges being reduced or even dropped.